For the first six years of my life, I grew up in an orphanage in St. Petersburg, Russia. I was born with a condition called spina bifida, which is a hole in your back and your spine column sticking out and you need surgery immediately after the birth. But that wasn't my case. They wanted to take care of the healthiest babies first and then people with disabilities second. And then that all changed the sixth year when a woman happened to walk through the door and that happened to be Deborah McFadden. I knew in my heart, my instinct, that that was gonna be my mom. Something at that moment just struck me that it was gonna be different. When I came into the United States, I had first doctor's appointment, had my first several surgeries to get my legs unatrophied so I could sit in a wheelchair. Um, I enrolled in school for the first time. I had the dream when I was about, say, 10 years old, <laughs> um, that I wanted to be a Paralympic athlete. My mom found a local para sports club called the Bennett Blazers, and that's where I absolutely fell in love with, with wheelchair racing. All I wanted to do was to join my high school track team. It's the 21st century, and they were excluding and segregating people with physical disabilities and not letting them participate in high school sports. I was denied a uniform. I was denied to ride in alongside of others when it was just me. I was the only female wheelchair racer at that time. So when I filed for a lawsuit for no money, for no damages, it was just the right to run alongside of athletes. That's when the ADA came into effect. So that helped to pass law in the state of Maryland. And now it's federal law. You're seeing people with physical disabilities actually coming out to play high school sports. We have the right to do everything and anything that we want, and it's because of the ADA.